Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's Sarat, and uh, in this whole video we're going to check into the Daily Dose of Tarot for uh, 16th of June 2022, and uh, if you find yourself being interested in a personal reading with me, or uh, if you do want to take uh, my tarot classes, you can check out the description down below, and uh, there you're going to find a link to my website where you can review all of my services and as well their pricing so with that said uh let's check out what we do have for the day and the very first card uh that is going to be the tower it's off of a great start for what it seems and then we do have oh come on the second one that is going to be the death card and then the third, the third one we do have a the Ace of Cups. So pretty much these three cards. That's gonna be one of these days, man. It's uh, it's not gonna be a very pleasant day, and that is because of that. The, the issue here isn't the tower and the ace of cups although that is also a very unpleasant elements of dignity uh the issue in today's reading it's uh, the tower and the death card sitting on uh, on that place uh sitting as a uh, active enemies and pretty much what, what what these two cards are saying to us it is that today we are going to be forced into transition or if you want to call it a transformation. Now, the first thing that came to my mind when I saw the cards and then the Ace of Cups next to it, that immediately tell, told me that um, we are to be cornered by someone. And let me, let me explain you what I mean. Someone did something for us and they didn't kind of like made it over a big deal. It was like, you know, it's it's cool. I was able to help you and that's about it. Right. But now that help probably is going to be shoved into our faces and a price will be demanded. This is like returning the favor. But, you know, we, we it's going to catch us unprepared because we didn't thought that we have to return the favor. That's immediately what came to my mind when I saw these uh, these three cards. Of course, that intuitive sense could be just only for me, uh, because there is a, a wide specter how these cards can can really manifest. But make no mistake, okay? This this endeavor is happening whether we are ready for it or not. That isn't something we can expect. It is just it catches us unprepared in that particular day and whether it is a good thing happening or a bad thing happening the sheer fact that catches us unprepared it's gonna make us the very least feel uncomfortable and unpleasant and that is the very least now think it of that in a very very inappropriate moment someone tells you that they love you right i mean for example you are a really good friend you're just getting the hang of it and they tell you hey i i have i have emotions for you and there you go the friendship's thrown out of the window right and that's not a very very pleasant experience <clears throat> It's like, I believe you call it a blindsided, right? So yeah, that, that's especially, that is something that we can expect in that, say, in today's particular, uh, in today's particular day. But uh, the, the, these circumstances which are going to happen, that endeavor itself, it's going to have a cleansing and nurturing effect on our lives. And like I said, it's bound to happen one way or another. It's just these cards, instead of saying that it's going to happen naturally through, you know, a progression. Like if I'm following this example here, you know, we are friends and we see that we can be more. And so one thing leads to another and so on and so forth. And finally, at the end, we decide, all right, so we are getting along very well. And so and etc, etc. And, uh, you know, let's give it a go. Here it's going to be more more like you know either we are together or we are not going to be friends okay and that, that kind of like blindsided uh, blindsides us and puts our back against the wall not just only our back against the wall but the the, the back of the one that gives us this uh, ultimatum and it's really an ultimatum and it's going to be an unpleasant situation for 
for all of us. Now, like I said, these cards have a very wide specter of manifestation. <clears throat> because that could be for example the moment where the company you're working for a bankrupt maybe you are this maybe you have decided to change your job but you are not ready yet you do have some things to do or you are trying to build up some kind of an experience there but you can't and now this leaving out it, it, it's kind of like it's happening whether you like it or not uh, that could be where you suddenly uh, for example have a crush on somebody well, you are bound to fall in love it is just right now it catches you unprepared for you may think that you are not ready for that so it can happen in many many different uh, uh, ways and uh, I think it is that people interpret the tower card as something really really bad or at least that's what I am kind of like taking as an impression from a readers that I keep in touch with. The tower isn't a bad thing, it is just it, it happens through an unpleasant circumstances. But the reason why the tower manifests it is so it can kind of like um, it can it can stir the things back. That is no different than uh, when you have built your life around comfort, let's say it that way, all right? So around comfort and you have built it in it so strong that just there is no more room for you to move anywhere. And the universe kind of like puts a finger, put, puts its finger on one of the walls of your castle and it's just, it pushes it down. Trying to tell you, move, dude, damn. Uh, and, and yeah, because the tower literally is a symbol in tarot of everything you have built and the tower is kind of like rumbling down. And when I say everything you have built, I mean everything you have built in that particular field. It could represent the friendship you have built or the, the job you have built, you know, or, or just the plan you have built and so on and so forth. And suddenly you're finding that thing getting ahead of you you're finding that thing kind of like uh forcing itself upon you uh forcing you to take some kind of a measures where you we all of us may not feel ready to to take those measures because like i said the death it's uh it's an enemy to the tower and the death it is the natural transition okay while the tower it's the forceful one where you don't have that that control over anything okay it just it happens and you are pretty much feeling dead in the water but that is just for a certain amount of time the fact that we do have the ace of cups there only speaks that we're not gonna like the circumstances and that's by a large margin because uh the ace of cups is also an enemy to the tower card and uh yeah or rather like the tower is enemy to the ace of cups so it's definitely a very very unexpected circumstances which are gonna blindside us all right and they are gonna force us to make a transition to make a transformation the very least to accept certain circumstances and with that said this is the um daily dose of tarot guys hopefully you do enjoyed it and you do liked it and we may see each other next time until then Bye.